The first note that I like to start bassoonists off with is a three finger C. That's the C that's in the middle of the bass clef staff, or C3 if you're counting on the keyboard. The reason is that this is a relatively friendly note for the bassoon. It's not really low, but it's not really high. It's easy to make it a good sound on. There's not too much resistance, and it usually responds quite well. Before you start the note, you want to briefly talk about what the tongue's going to do, because they haven't used their tongue before. I teach that you keep the tip of your tongue just above your lower teeth, kind of nestled in behind your lower lip. That'll be where the tip goes. You actually touch the tongue to the reed, maybe about a quarter of an inch behind the tip of the tongue. And if this is my tongue, you're going to touch it to this lower blade, pull it down. That should be enough if the air and support is all correct to start off the vibration of the reed. Now, to get to that C. The first thing that you have to do, of course, is to inhale and then set the support. And when I say set the support, I mean push like you're going to overcome that resistance that you felt when you blew through the fist. But you want to just hold it there without exhaling or inhaling. It's sort of like a, a midpoint where you're going to stop, make sure that you've got enough muscle down here to get through that resistance that the reed's going to offer you. After you set that support, you want to let the air move a little bit through the reed. It'll, it'll look like this. You should be able to hear a little bit of a hiss coming through the reed. The reason that I include this step, rather than just supporting and then instantly starting the note by moving the air in the tongue, is because there's so much resistance to overcome on the bassoon that we have a lot of pressure built up before we play. If you just unleash that pressure, it tends to produce a, a pretty hearty accent on the note. And that sounds good if that's what you want, but I think that we should start early getting students trained to start the notes with a really delicate kind of articulation. And this is one of the ways to do it. If I let the air move a little bit, I release a little of that built up pressure, but I keep the support behind it, it'll get a much smoother attack. It'll sound like this. And so that's a nicer way to start a note. And students will, will learn to do that much more quickly. It, it's a difficult thing to do on the bassoon. So one way to do this is to put it into a rhythmic framework. I like to think of a four beat measure. And on the first two beats, you'll inhale. On the third beat, you'll set that resistance. You'll just hold the air there, pushing without blowing. On the fourth beat, you'll let the air move through the reed. And on the downbeat of the next measure, you'll touch the tongue to the tip of the reed and start off that vibration for the C. So this is our tempo. One, two, three, four. And that's how you can get them to start a note. One little item of embouchure to consider when you're teaching this. When they start the note, I like to have the embouchure already partially set. When I breathe, I have my lower lip already down here, cushioning the bottom blade of the reed so that I don't have to form the whole thing. So it's right here. And if you have your students practice this rhythmic exercise for breathing, setting the support, moving the air, and then finally starting the note, gradually they can reduce those first steps into a shorter period of time so that they can do all this in the space of a beat or two when they're getting ready to come in when they have an entrance. <laughs>